Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core. I'm sure most of you guys have already seen, but the Aris Little Village did a prank on me. <laughs> where um, I was just lying on my couch one night, and uh, I was talking on Skype, and he waited till I fell asleep. And then him and his roommates all shouted fire at me, and I woke up and had a, <clears throat> a bit of an accident. But anyways, I managed to organise a revenge prank with uh, the Aris Little Village's roommate, Cole. And he did the exact same to him, so how does it feel? You can't really see his reaction, it's a bit too dark. I think he probably should have put the light on when he was doing the prank, but um, anyways, I'll let you guys hear his reaction. Alright, it's about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'm going to wake up our slow village for Dan, because he got in with a prank a little earlier. I'm going to use it now. Call the fire. Pull it down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dad, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the prank. The Aris Little Village is actually also sending me a letter in real life, as in through the post to my real address. And uh, we're not going to say what it's about just yet, but it's something really epic, and we'll hopefully be able to tell you guys in a couple of months. But right now we're keeping it a bit of a surprise. And I told him that to, to send letters over here, you have to put the Earth and the Universe at the end of your letter, or else it just won't get sent. <laughs> and he just totally believed me, so I recorded it and I uh, thought I'd include it in here, so enjoy. No. JJ? J J yeah. Have you, wor have you sent me that letter yet? No, I told you I haven't wrote it yet. Alright, because I went to the post office today and they said that it's... Uh, Important that you have the Earth and the Universe, or else I don't think it like gets sent over here. Because okay. the post offices are like really strict. It's a fax machine. Yeah. What? Why use a fax? I don't know. Do you have a fax machine there? No, do I look like I'm from the 1970s? A fax machine is like everyone uses that. All businesses. Well, I'm just a guy in my room. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> where are you? Let's get going. Uh, give me like 10 minutes. Like, I can't believe you guys... I had to leave in 10 minutes. I, I can't believe you guys don't have, like, put the Earth, the Universe at the end of your letters. Yeah, I swear on my life, we I have never even heard of that. But when you put them in the post office, how does it know, like, what, where it's going, if you don't have it? Well, because the address, like, it says, it says the name, and then it says, like, this town, and then it says the state with the zip code. Yeah, but how does it know it's from here? I don't know. Like, how, how do you how do they know that you're sending it to here, the Earth? Where else would you send it? Well, here you always have to have that at the end of it to show that it's like a full address. Well, or else you could be sending it anywhere. <laughs> like Mars or what? Well, yeah. Why the fuck would you send a letter to Mars? Well, you just like here the post offices don't accept it if it doesn't have the Earth, the universe. That's so weird. But it's weird that you don't have that because. I mean, how do, how do, how can they be sure that it's going to arrive? Because it's implied that you're sending it on Earth, because that's where we live. That's stupid. <laughs> so next time you guys see him, be sure to ask him what planet he's from. <laughs>